I'm Vikas Sukatme. I'm a physician scientist here at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, uh, and I'm also Chief Academic Officer at the institution. As an academic medical center, biomedical research is a key component of BIDMC's mission. But medical research requires significant investment. That's why in today's difficult financial environment, the NIH grants that were awarded to our medical center through the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act have been vitally important to our hospital's research mission. Here at BIDMC, researchers received more than $50 million in ARRA stimulus grants. These grants are advancing the work of over 100 different research projects in a wide variety of areas throughout our medical center. So some of the ARRA funding uh, has gone into funding basic science research, and that tends to occur largely at the bench. And in the laboratory, the essential questions being asked are those of basic biology. Through these investigations, for example, Dr. Barbara Kahn, one of the world authorities in the area of diabetes research, is studying the causes of diabetes and insulin resistance, two of today's most urgent public health problems. Another example of basic research, Dr. Jeff Saffitz, our chairman of pathology, is using zebrafish to screen thousands upon thousands of genes in order to identify the origins of sudden cardiac death. The stimulus funding is also supporting BIDMC's translational research, the work that helps to move discoveries such as these from the laboratory to patients. Emergency room physician Dr. Nate Shapiro is investigating the endothelial cells that line our body's blood vessels. He'd like to find out if these cells are the source of materials that contribute to septic shock, a life-threatening complication that can develop in hospitalized patients following an infection. In another example, laboratory scientist Dr. Chris Evans is working with our hospital's orthopedic trauma surgeons in the hopes of finding a better way to heal severe bone fractures, like the ones that often face soldiers coming home from Iraq or Afghanistan. The stimulus grants are also funding clinical trials, which help test new drugs and other therapies, offering patients whole new options. ARRA funding has enabled Dr. Pier Paolo Pandolfi to begin implementing a new strategy that he refers to as the co-clinical trials, in which physicians attempt to test personalized cancer therapies in a more streamlined way. Essentially, drugs are given to a patient, and at the same time, they are given to animals that mirror that patient's disease. This helps our doctors and scientists learn more quickly about new cancer drugs, and as a result, will help these treatments reach patients much more quickly. These grants come at a very critical time, and what we're grateful for is that Congress and the President felt that this should be part of the stimulus bill. These advances made possible by these grants will in fact have lasting implications for millions and millions of people, both here in the United States and abroad. So I guess one way of summarizing uh, what I've just said is that what began as an initiative to spur economic recovery uh, will really wind up uh, leading to patient recoveries.